Okay, welcome back. Here we are for the the third round, but the the first one with actual live recorded commentary. Is that a word? Live recorded? I mean, not one word, but yeah, you know what I mean. I, I don't know if that's something you can say, but well, we're, we're here. We're rolling. Here is uh, did win a die roll with Valakut. Let's see how it goes. Okay, this is not a snap keep. Note that we don't have any payoff in hand, but we do not need payoff in order to keep a hand. The payoff will come. Uh, you just have to wait for it. One thing that's super awkward about this hand is that we have Forest and Valakut, and this hand could easily be a natural Valakut hand. So I'm gonna consider a little bit if I want to lead on Sheltered Thicket and not the Forest. Because um, I think that might not be the worst idea. Like, I get... Because... Like, there's a chance that this one is going to be my third mountain, and if I draw, like, three mountains from the top, I'd rather just have access to the Dexter Bolt. And, like, drawing three mountains off the top is not that unlikely since I have to explore. And it, also, any, you know, obviously, Stumbling Grounds count as mountains too, and Fetch Lands and other ramp spells will count as mountains. So, and with this Explorer, it's just not that unlikely that I'm going to end up uh, developing to a spot where if I don't have the forest in play. I'll have to, I'll actually have um uh I'll I'll actually be able to trigger Valakut on turn four ish. So I think I'm gonna elect to just lead on Shelter Thicket here. Which is not normally how it goes, but with this specific hand, I think it's okay. This doesn't really it's not that important for us to get to search for tomorrow off um to get it off suspend next turn already. It might not matter. Or sorry, to get it off suspend on turn three. Like getting it off suspend on turn four is just the same. So I'm probably gonna go like suspend search play Valakut here. Well, depending on what happens. So it seems like we're against Grixis Shadow. Um which is a little bit of a tricky matchup. Um it used to be good back because I used to play roast main deck and such when this deck was very popular. Oh, that, this is the big disadvantage of not suspending search turn one. Is that this can happen? I did think about that, but I don't think it's like a big deal breaker to a hand that we do a result on a search. Because if you suspend a search, they would just take the explore, and I think that's arguably worse for a hand. And they might just take explore anyway. Yeah, they're gonna take explore anyway. So didn't actually matter. If they do play a uh, Grimmie Gangler now, then we get a little bit punished from not having the sus turn 1 suspended. Because then we can't cast both of these in the same turn. Drawing Anger is pretty bad though. Okay, let's see. Thought Scour? Yeah. Now they get to uh, tap out for a Delph creature. Yeah, that's what they're playing right now. Alright, so we did, we did actually get punished. Um, for not suspending it early. Though, I mean, we might get rewarded later on. But This matchup, uh, it's very... It's not very unreasonable at all that we can uh, just kill them with Valakut triggers to the face since you take a decent amount of damage. Um. I think I'm actually just going to shoot Lightning Bolt to the face here. Maybe that's bad if there's a shadow coming? Yeah, that's true. That's actually pretty bad if there's a shadow coming. Yeah, now they can actually cast Shadow, whereas before they couldn't. Okay, so I don't think I should have bolted them. That was just pretty bad. Range spell? Ooh. Prismatic Omen. Okay, this is actually not that bad. Because, like, next turn, we just get to... Come on. Play out the Wood of the Hills. There we go. Next turn, we get to play Forest, and we get to bolt the Grimlock Angler, or the Shadow. And then we can fetch and kill... 
and kill it again. Or like we get to you know use two triggers from Balco to kill off the gaming angler. But now I'm just gonna target the shadow instead. Hopefully he doesn't fetch. Well, if he fetches and like plays another shadow, I can just draw any rain spell, and I'll win the game. Like, I have a ton of good draws now. This this prismatic omen was such a huge draw. That's the thing about this matchup though, is that like they can't fault seize the top of your library. They can stop with annihilate, so you know. I can't target my opponent yet, so I'm just gonna target here. And then presumably my opponent's gonna fetch now. And then I'll play a forest and I'll kill off the shadow. And here you see the big advantage of Prismatic Omen. But if I just had an. It would have been like. Just look how much better it would have been if I had an anger in my hand now. And I'm gonna I'm gonna die to team of battle rage as well. We can't really do anything about that. Uh, but if I didn't bolt them and I had anger in hand, it would be an absurd amount better. So that was a pretty big mistake. Um, to to just chuck that to the to the face there. And let's see if they have the team of battle rage though. Because if they don't, I'm still pretty conf confident about my spot. Okay, it seems like they don't. Well, I'm not in a great spot or anything. But I can draw fetch land for lethal. Okay, now I actually need to draw fetch land. <laughs> or like a titan or something. Titan they can't counter, so that's a pretty good draw. Valor could for lethal. Okay. Well, if they have a stop in denial, then I lose the game now. Or even a Snapcaster. It's good enough to kill me. Guess they have a stop denial in the graveyard. They can just get Swamp here. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so... I'm going to go for uh, my signature move here. Uh, the only thing I can do is to prevent my opponent from winning the game on the next turn. There we go. Yeah, I think I just lost the game because I cast a lightning bolt. So, um, take that as a uh, learning lesson. Okay, well, for this matchup. They often have the down of the veil, but I don't actually know if they play the card anymore. Um, I just still really like my big green creatures, regardless of whether or not they have it. I like Relic a lot, and I like Tracker. Uh, the biggest problem with the matchup now is that I have... I, I used to play Roast in the deck, as I mentioned, but now we have a Braid, uh, which does not kill the Shadow. And actually, back in uh, a GP Birmingham that I debated, where Shadow was very popular, I even played Spite Bellows in the sideboard, which is a 6-mana card that convokes for free mana. In, in red, and it says when it leaves the battlefield, it deals 6 damage to target creature or player. So it's a, a card that can't stop in the aisle since it's a creature, they can't inquisition it since it costs 6, uh, and it kills like shadows that are 6 toughness, and, uh, and did a bunch of other cute things. Alright, well, I don't want any of the red cards basically. Uh, and then I'm gonna shave the usual thing where I like shave one 
Fasi, one scape shift. And that's how we do it. Um, so yeah, the reasoning for for shaving scape shift, I went over this a little bit in the deck tech, but um, just in general, since I'm I'm not even getting that much more interactive, but I'm at least like having a, I just have a different plan with like the trackers and uh, bailouts and such, where I don't necessarily need the scape shift, but drawing multiple is pretty bad, especially if I draw, I, right, multiple and they discard my ram spells. That's pretty bad. So there's a reasonable argument for just cutting two of them, but I'm on the plate, so I think it's fine to save one ram spell instead. I would like to play first. Uh, this hand is not very good, uh, but let me think if I'm gonna keep it anyway. Um, I think not. Yeah, I'm just like trying to figure out if I can like summon a spec for uh, wood elves or something and get some going inside the Valakuts. But since I have two Valakuts, it gets even harder to trigger them since they kind of, they don't count as mountains them themselves, so you kind of need an extra land to make those work. I like this a lot more. Do though leaving on Relic and the play is like really good. Uh, yeah, I'm up. I could do a fast seek here, because the explorer is not guaranteed to ramp me at all. So and here the same thing applies to we talked about before, where um, I can just fetch a forest and it'll be okay. All right, and we're gonna use relic immediately. Always. Also, just for F6 value. Please take the bait off. Okay, you're gonna take Explorer. I'm actually happy about that. Because my hand is not a very good Explorer hand. There's a reasonable argument that I should have. Uh, that I should bought out. Usually, when I cut a Ram spell, I cut Explore when I'm on the play and Fasig when I'm on the draw. Because Explore gets better on the draw, you have that extra, you know, you have that extra card draw to hit the land. Uh, but. Might not necessarily be relevant. Did my opponent crack Relic after Thoughtseize? Okay. Uh, or cast Bubble after Thoughtseize? Yeah, they should have definitely uh, bubbled me before they cast Thoughtseize, so they would have the info. On which card I left on top. So here I'm uh, just gonna get a basic mountain. It seems a little bit counterintuitive to get, like when I could get stomping ground or something. But the reason is that now I have two basics, so if I draw Cinder Glade, it'll be active. And also fetch lands can get Cinder Glade, um, which is the easy spot. Like that's why the fetch lands become really good if they can just get Cinder Glade, because that's basically fetching for Tiger. One one shadow. Another one one shadow. I'll just continue uh, dealing with the uh, the graveyard. As you can see, by the way, the scape shift is just not doing anything. Obviously, part of that is that we mulliganed and such, but this is why we uh, we shave on scape shift. Titan is the real killer in this matchup. And yeah, now it just died. Oh no. Yeah, I'm just gonna lose this match. No. There's almost nothing to be done against the, these shadows. It's also very safe for my opponent to just play them out because I don't have um, bolts in my deck post board. My out here is that like I take I go to 12 life and I draw another bait off. Oh, okay, they they're just gonna play around bolt. I guess that's good for me. Yep, yeah, here's another expensive useless card.
There's still a chance we win this one, but it's not very high. Because my opponent could be stuck with multiple Delph creatures in hand. That's my out. Or like stop with the Nile. Stop with the Nile also doesn't do anything. And then I, if I get to play Titan here, because if they attack with both, I could just go to one life. And I think I will. Because if I block here and go to seven, and then I play Titan, uh, then next turn I would need to do the blocks. Wait, actually, also this attack, like, I can just attack with my Bailout now. And then Titan would kill them. Obviously, if I draw Fetch Land or Stumping Ground, now then they're not going to be live. But this seems like I'll get a better out here. Okay, they have Street Wraith and I die. That's okay, though. Alright, well, that was uh, how you lose to Grixis Shadow. Um, definitely a misplay with the Lightning Bolt. Possibly with the Search for tomorrow, too. Like, it's... I think this is actually the first time where I had the option to suspend on one, but I didn't do it. Um, so it's a very corner case scenario, and I'm not 100% sure that it actually is correct to not suspend it on one. Um, we shouldn't have ended up getting punished uh, in a bit of an unforeseen way. Um, here, it was just, yeah. Like, you, you can see the disadvantage of leaving into many scape shifts, and possibly should you just bought it out to escape shift with the sideboard plan. You did also see that Bailoff didn't do anything really, uh, which is certainly something that I can s I can I can certainly see that if they don't have that many Liliana after veils, it's not that good to have too many Bailoffs. Um, but it's the type of card where they only really do anything in multiples, but I've found them to be quite good in multiples, and and they just help stem the bleeding a lot. But yeah, these are the type of draws where you just lose the shadow as well, like the the thought sees into double shadow. It's pretty hard to consult with. I'm not even sure if my Braylick did much of anything, but yeah. Um, on to the next match.